What's up YouTube, JG here and welcome to volume 2 of the Phone Tab Diaries. Now, for volume 2, here's how it's going to go down, alright? I've compiled all my entries across all my social platforms and I'm going, and I'm going to compile them in one video every week. Sounds exciting? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I thought of that format because, well, it's too, it's, it has become too stressful for me. Now, I gotta admit, Volume 1 was, uh, was overkill. <laughs> volume 1 was overkill. 120 entries, whoa. <laughs> no wonder it was stressful for me. So, again, here's how it's going to go down from Volume 2 and probably onwards. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a weekly video where I... I'm going to, where I will compile all my entries across across my different social platforms and if you see something right here if you see uh, a username to my social account it means only one thing that particular entry came from that account or or should I say was originally posted on that platform so if you don't want to miss any any of my entries firsthand you follow that particular platform all right so again welcome to volume two what do you call a person who is neither a spendthrift or a freeloader nor a freeloader a financial dickhead. Why? Well, you just don't. Those people, those kinds of people, just don't get the idea of money, right? They know it's free stuff, yet they don't. Uh, yet they don't take it. Now, when they when they're offered a price, they complain. They cry a river about it. They cry a river, sometimes an ocean, about it. Right? Now, it's nobody's concern if you're such a person. Right? Instead of complaining about what the freebie is or uh, or how hefty or how hefty the price of something is, why don't you why don't you guys try uh, try my suggestion? Shut up grind and save up then say your piece now the universe doesn't work that way you know when you you, com you complain about you complain about this freebie this on uh, this hefty price it doesn't fucking work that way All right if the universe sees you doing something about it without doing this hmm? doing this it will give it to you it will give it to you so instead of well taking all taking all the free stuff or complaining about the free stuff or even if there's a price to it you complain first don't be don't fucking do it instead well you just shut up, you grind for it, save up, then say your piece. Feed a man for three years and he can forget you in three days. Feed a dog three days and he will remember you for life. This is one of the um, quotes I've uh, this is one quote I came across YouTube <laughs> after uh, watching a dog rescue video. Now, it's very true, all right. Oh, by the way, new gadget. Yeah. <laughs> Ring light clip fan. <laughs> Just ordered it from Lazada. Now, going back to that quote. That quote means. Uh, means basically this hunger uh, what you call this 
Hunger motivates gratitude. Okay? You learn that from a dog. You can only learn that from a dog. Okay? Humans, well, we're, uh, we have the tendency to be ingrates. Right? But animals don't. Especially dogs. If there's one animal, the, we should, uh, we should uh, take lessons in gratitude from, it's the dog. Okay? Like the saying goes, like I, like I said a while ago, feed a man three years and he will forget you in three days. Feed a dog for three days and he will remember you for life. Alright? Again, that's true. It's a hard lesson in gratitude that we should all learn from. Alright? But, bottom line, bottom line, hunger motivates gratitude. I just uh, saw Roberto Blake's last uh, live stream. And, wow, um, he almost lost it. Alright? Roberto Blake is one of the uh, one of the most mild mannered YouTube creators out there, and to, for him to um, oops, excuse me, excuse me, okay, for him to to lose it like that, wow, it the trolls must have the trolls must have the trolls must have really pissed him off, okay. Well. <laughs> If I were in his shoes, I might do something worse, all right? To tell you honestly, I might do something worse. I might have, um, I might have audited uh, the troll's YouTube account, like like what he did with one of them, and at the same time, uh, probably left a comment on his channel. Uh, well, for one thing. Uh, the channel in question had no videos, yet he was uh, bitching and complaining to Roberto Blake about uh, why um, why he sold out to YouTube, which is which is actually false. All right, which is actually false. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I don't know why they're spreading rumors about Roberto Blake like that. Okay. He's been very vocal for and against YouTube, especially during the during the Copa crisis. During the Copa crisis, for me, uh, yeah, I would have done done something worse. I would have audited the guy's channel, left the comment that his um, that he should uh, he should create content first before before flaming Roberto Blake like that. And at the same time, I might have reported him. All right. He has a considerable amount of, amount of subscribers, but he doesn't have any videos. <laughs> How in the hell did he get subscribers without having any videos? All right. That's a good reason for me to report the guy. All right. Hit him where it hurt. Hit him where it hurts the most. Now, going back. Uh, well, to the issue, all right. I don't know why people are blaming gurus, blaming legit gurus like Roberto Blake for their um for their short for their own shortcomings. Okay, you know what? This is one of that's one of the reasons why I um, why my channel banner slogan says. Grind, create, say your peace. Right? Do not say your peace until you have grinded and created your own content. Alright, that's my message to all those trolls, to all to all these bashers out there right now. Alright? That is my message to you. If you can't handle the grinding, the content creation, the, the creating of content. You might as well shut up and go fuck yourself. All right? Simple as that. You can't handle YouTube's algorithm. Post videos somewhere else. 
you can't handle you can't handle a social media platform's algorithm post somewhere else or shut the hell up don't blame the guru blame yourself I'm currently watching um, the 2020 NBA All-Star Game. Second, uh, it's already the second quarter. Team LeBron has already taken the first quarter, so their favorite charity, their chosen charity, now benefits from that because they there's a uh, uh, there's a cash there's a cash amount to it. Now, I love the format, right? I love the format, but. There's a very important lesson here to be learned by all of us, all right? Especially if you have a, if you got, if you got a home, if you got a home-based brand or business, it's a lesson in paying it forward, all right? So right now, the winner of the winner of a particular quarter gets to donate to their to their chosen charity. Now. The NBA, uh, I think they're slowly realizing how valuable paying it forward, paying for paying it forward is to everybody in the NBA, especially to its players. All right. Now, the NBA is a brand in itself. Okay. But did you know that every NBA player has it has their own brand? Yes, it does. Well, best example, LeBron James. Okay. Uh, another example is, of course, the late Kobe Bryant. He has his own logo. He has his own logo. Now, paying it forward is... Uh, let this. It's very important to, to a brand. Okay? Whether it be personal, whether it be a big brand. Why? Well, having a brand is not just uh, it's not both a right it's not just both a right and a privilege it's also a responsibility in the immortal words of uh, Uncle Ben Parker with great power comes great responsibility okay? that's a life lesson <laughs> believe it or not okay? and paying it forward when you're uh, when you're a when you're a brand, but you're small, big, you have a responsibility by paying it forward, right? The NBA has realized that. Now, the format of the All-Star Game, uh, it doesn't just benefit the NBA, but it benefits the individual players playing now in the All-Star Game in order to uh, in order to advance their brands and, of course, to, to show that to show that they have a heart all right of course well if you have a name for yourself if you have a brand you also have that responsibility of paying it forward in any way possible all right does it have to be um uh regularly donating to a charity it's like um you can either be you can either share your skills for free for one time uh, to, to the less fortunate of course to those who can't afford your can't afford to pay for your brand you can, you can always you can always share your skills and expertise for free from time to time that's 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 one way of paying it forward All right and I'm enjoying this game I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the rest of this game. Me and my mom just found out that um, her she has an outstanding loan at the at the SSS. <laughs> May outstanding loan sa SSS for seven thousand seven thousand. <clears throat> the only amount my mom remembered was one thousand pesos. She used it to to buy a gas range for us when we we're still uh, when we we're still living in San Juan. Okay, now. We were asking why. Bakit lumaki ng ganon? Now, 
the SSS representative said, um, baka nangyari daw, hindi dineclare na resigned na ang mother ko when she resigned in 1979. So, the, the interest and the loan, the interest and uh, back payments in the loan piled up. Yun na. Umabot sa 7,000 pesos. Alright? Now I know why Banco Filipino closed down. Right? They weren't taking care of their employees. Right? They weren't taking good care of their employees. And my mom was the example. Resigned na siya sa Banco Filipino. Nagpile up pa yung interest ng loan niya. Okay? Hindi, well, I strongly believe na talagang hindi dineclare as resigned ang mother ko when she, ng, ng Banco Filipino. Alright? Now, <clears throat> here's the moral lesson. Here's the moral lesson here. If you're gainfully employed, know your employer very well. Right? Know your employer from the inside out. If they're withholding information from you, you might as well quit that company. Because they are not putting your best interest and welfare first. That's what happened to my mom. Now, I don't know. We're praying that um, her, what's it called this? Her lump sum is way, is way more than that to cover for the loan payments. Right? Again, if you're gainfully employed, know your employer well. I just I just uh, woke up today and uh, well I've been mean, really want to share to <clears throat> just the rest of the world what I know about sleep <laughs> well <clears throat> based on my <clears throat> excuse me my current experience uh, ever since I took on uh, keto and intermittent fasting my sleep habits uh, sort of changed well, every time I nap in the afternoon, I uh, when it's time for when it's time for the real shot, I I don't uh, I don't uh, what you call this? What's that word? I forgot. I don't uh, get to sleep that fast. All right. Uh, when I lie down uh, at night, uh, I don't sleep right away. All right, that's that's what I've that's what I've been observing. And every time I nap in the afternoon, when my um, uh, when it's time for belly bye at night, uh, that's it. I don't uh, I don't sleep uh, right away. Okay. I don't sleep right away. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I told you I just woke up. Uh, with this, uh, I woke up with this idea in my head that I should do this video. That I should do this video right now. Now, uh, there's a sign uh, that you should be you should be aware of about about your sleeping habits. If you tend to, if you tend to nap very off, nap regularly, that means means only one thing: your um, your body is full of carbohydrates. Your blood sugar is uh, well considerably high, and it's a it's well it can become a bad habit to get into. When you uh, when you when you nap in the afternoon, because you won't get much you won't get much sleep, and when it when it matters, take it from me, right? So I don't nap in the afternoon that much anymore, unless 
unless my body tells me to nap. But when I nap, it's only for a few minutes. Fifth, uh, probably 15 to 30 minutes, that's it. That's why it's called a nap. Short sleep. Right? But if you, well, if you nap uh, for more than that, it's either a bad habit of yours or you got too much sugar in your body. Right? That's my experience. Ever since, but ever since I took on keto and uh, IF, my sleeping habits have changed. So I don't, uh, I don't nap that long, that often anymore, because well, the sleep at night is what is the sleep that matters the most. You um, you need to sleep early, right? Or at least five hours or well, five to six well, five hours. To six. okay that's considered uh, i think that's considered quality sleep already six hours is already considered quality sleep so for in my case i need six hours because uh i'm all i'm nearly in front of uh tech gadgets all the time like mobile phones laptops so i really need that much sleep Okay, now for those for those of you who are into um, sleeping late, right? That's the worst habit. It's the worst sleeping habit you could you uh, you have to get you you get you get into. <clears throat> or you're if you're in the habit of doing an all nighter, that's that is the worst. Okay, that's the worst of the worst, right? Don't hey, deprive yourself. My, uh... That's the uh, that's the tip here. Do not deprive yourself of sleep. Okay. There are three aspects to wellness. Okay. There are three aspects to wellness: diet, exercise, and sleep. Those are the three uh, vital cogs of wellness. Card games are way better than mobile games. You want to know why? Well, number one reason there is it fosters real sportsmanship. Real sportsmanship, <laughs> to be honest. All right? Because, well, face to face. Both players are face to face. So, well, etiquette runs its course. Eventually, good sportsmanship happens. And another thing. You won't get screen dependency syndrome with card games, especially the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. Mobile games, pff, you can get screen dependency syndrome after after five straight hours of playing. All right. I just finished my lunch here at Zark's. I'll show you the. I'll show you your place. Right. <clears throat> this is Zark's Southwoods Mall. <laughs> it was my first time to to try their jawbreaker, uh, the one that has three patties and uh, and, a, and, a, and a piece of luncheon meat in it. <laughs> I had the bun removed, and I'm going to I'm going to give it the, I'm going to give that to my dog instead. But <laughs> I just couldn't finish the whole thing. Okay. Well, it has no bun. It has no bun already, but I still couldn't finish it. So, I had it. Uh, I had it taken. I had it. Uh, I had it. I had the, the remaining, the unfinished parts for takeout. So I'm going to. I'm going to have that for dinner instead. So probably I only ate half of it. <laughs> My stomach was already full. Because I had some appetizers with their onion hoops, onion fried onion rings. All right, it's one benefit of uh, it's one of it's one benefit of being a keto practitioner. All right, you get to eat those things, but you, like the title says, you have to know your limits. Now I know. <laughs> now, whether it be whether it be eating, whether it be business, whether it be. Uh, even your 
even even your hobbies your passions you have to know your limits all right why well every limit you have can be your strength all right don't don't uh, don't think of don't think of it as a weakness when you know your limits. It actually strengthens you as a person. Okay, ready? This is actually my first phone tab diaries entry for Reddit. Right now, I repeat what I said. Know your limits to everything. I just saw the news. Uh, the there's been a um, there's been an alarming rise in in school altercations in high school in high among high school students in in the province of Cavite. Okay, all caught on video, right? These are well, these aren't just um, these aren't just one on one brawls. They involve the entire. They involve at least half the class. Alright? It's a free-for-all. Labu-labu na. Now, there's a, um, uh, there's a bill now in, that has passed in both the House and the Senate which, which would bring back GMRC. Good manners and right conduct. Okay? I'm a product of that. All right. When I was in uh, elementary and during my first year in high school, we had that subject. We had that subject. Okay. Um, it's okay to cut to cut classes with the other subjects. Do not cut that. All right. Dahil well, malilinti ka ka sa principal mismo. Okay. During our time, sa principal ka mismo mananagot. You will be sent to the principal's office if you. Um, if you uh, if you cut classes on GMRC for at least I think um, two straight, yeah, they will send you the it's it's off to the principal's office for you, right? That's why. Um, well, I'm not. I don't intend to brag, but <clears throat> my generation has breathing. Right? I'm a Gen Xer, okay? and the ones the students involved are well members of Gen Z, okay. These are high school students, so they're uh, they belong to Gen Z. Now, with this in mind, means only one thing. Gen Z doesn't have any manners. They don't know any manners. They do not respect other people's uh, welfare or even privacy. Okay. Now, I've uh, I've been I've been watching the news as of late. So. Mga for the past three nights already there's been a lot there's been a lot of reports on bullying free for alls in the classroom okay in classroom free for alls okay <clears throat> so yeah it's not just alarming it's appalling all right it's appalling and I hope and pray that the GMRC bill gets passed, right? And I hope the president signs that into law right away. Because, well, when the K plus 12 program was in was implemented here in my country, GMRC has been, what you call this, chopped up and included in other subjects. I thought, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that? Why in the hell did you do that? Okay, so my God, it's it's absolutely appalling. Now, if I had kids, right, I would not. Uh, I would tell them to either. Well, they they have a choice. Okay, if I had kids, I would give them a choice. They either stay away from the fight, or keep the peace. Act as a peacemaker. I would, uh, I would, I would tell, I would tell them, I would give them that choice. So it's up to them to, so it's up to them to decide which would they, which would they take. But my God, <laughs> you're having a free for all inside the class, inside class, inside school. <laughs> you want, 
you you want to settle you want to settle matters you settle it outside of the school that's that's the perfect place to settle it not inside not in school right that is uh downright what's called this disrespectful that is downright disrespectful of the educational system you're in for me all right now the school system has its flaws but hey if you're a stu if you're a high school student your parents send you there to learn something okay now engaging in a free for all won't help them all right parting shot gen z needs gmrc